Hello everyone, welcome to Aura Permata. I'm Nastari and I'm excited to share my first tutorial video. I will show you amazing uh, homemade salt bath recipes like this one. Before we begin, let me tell you a bit about myself, why I am here. So, as the creator of Aura Permata skincare products, I am passionate about natural skincare that uh, truly nourish the skin. Through this channel, I want to not only share my homemade recipes, but also build a trust in my products. If you are interested in improving your skincare routine with natural goodness, you are in the right place. Stay tuned for DIY salt bath recipes and more skincare routine. And don't forget to like and subscribing and sharing with your friends. Thank you for being here and joining me on this journey. Let's get started. Before we wait our ingredient and knowing the tools that we need to make these products, I like to suggest you to clean your hands, uh, cover your hair and wear apron. I'm wearing my apron, cover my hair. Clean liners is uh, the first key of making products with raw material. Sanitize all your tools and equipment before starting your to wait your all ingredient. I will wear glove. Before I have sanitized all my equipment already with uh, isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol. Now we are ready to wait our ingredient. I will tell you what you need uh, tools to make these products. You need to have a, a digital scale. It's for a precise measurement. A glass bowl or uh, aluminum bowl, iPad. This I use to weight my essential oil in the end. This digital scale is for uh, up to uh, 5 grams. Smaller is from 000 till 100 grams. I also have some spoon here to collect and stir my ingredient later if I need it. We need to have a container for our finishing products after. I always keep my isopropyl alcohol with a, a bottle spray like this. So it's easy for me to spray and wipe it with a tissue paper or towel. Ingredient that I use on these products like first base is Himalayan uh, pink salt. I'm using a, a Epsom salt. This is American salt. And I choose the fine ground. Next, I combine uh, three types of uh, clay here like red clay, green French clay, this one is Colin clay. And this clay chosen because it's for detoxifying and toning. Ground coffee, this is good for gentle exfoliation. So I use real pure Balinese uh, Kintamani coffee powder. And the smell is very strong. A ground oatmeal. I make this ground by just blend the wool uh, oatmeal. I add a uh, coconut milk powder. This oatmeal and coconut milk is good for nourishing. I like also to add uh, active chakral powder. Why I add this? Because it's good for detoxifying. I will add also some dried flower petal like uh, lavender and rose. For the luxurious experience, I like to add uh, Lang Ylang essential oil and rose essential oil and sandalwood essential oil. So we will blend this later. We tear it to zero. I use my bowl and tear it. We will wait our uh, Himalayan pink salt. In this recipe is 300 grams. 
Malayan pink salt. We need uh, 120 grams. We will wait our Epsom salt. Epsom salt is very fast uh, clump because it's very fine. We need 105 gram and the combination of the clay now three clays for combination we need a nine gram clay so three each friends clay clean clay now we will add ground oat milk powder and coconut milk powder for this coconut milk powder ground oat milk we need 10 gram so it's 5 gram each now coconut milk coffee powder and uh, activate charcoal powder the activate charcoal we can add just a little maybe this much coffee powder not last but at least I like to add also uh, SLSA this is a foaming agent it's a natural dry from coconut and palm oil oh yeah before we add this I recommend you to use a uh, face mask because the particle of this powder of SLSA powder is a uh, very tiny and it's easy to breathe 30 gram of foaming agent now we will mix and combine all the ingredients i use hand because easy to help to break the salt that are clumped and we mix mix until all it's combined all is combined now and there is no clump and we have blend himalayan pink salt for detoxification epsom salt is for muscle relaxation and uh, coconut milk and uh, ground oat milk powder is for nourishing for the enhanced the experience we include also the combination of three clay like uh, pink clay uh, uh, no, uh, red clay friends clay and colin clay it's for detoxifying and toning along with the fine finally uh, ground balinese coffee it came from kintamani that is very good for gentle exfoliation and Plus, we also add uh, SLSA, that a gentle foaming agent and derived from coconut and palm oil. It's to create a rich lather and leaves your skin feeling soft and moisturized. Adding to the luxurious, we have will include also the dried lavender and rose petals for a unique, delightful touch. Moreover, our unique blend of Ilang Ilang essential oil, sandalwood essential oil, and rose essential oil. Not only promote uh, relaxation, but also uh, support skin health. Together, this thoughtfully selected ingredient create uh, actually induce salt but experience, leaving you feeling refreshed rejuvenate and ready to take on the world why i'm selecting this ingredient let's add our essential oil first we need a 0 0.30 lang elang essential oil rose essential oil we need 0 0.15 okay a sandalwood essential oil we need uh, 0 0.45 let's combine first the essential oil mm, smells so good and i can't wait to stay in the bathtub 
Mmm, really, it smells so good. And now we will add our last ingredient, but not this. Uh, dried lavender is for delightful touch feeling and dried rose flower and mix 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 okay and it's done and we can put in our container now it's easy right to create your own products so we add in our container now Then you have your own salt bath you can place in your close to your bathtub or in the bathroom and you will feel all the smell come out in your bathroom that's it you can make your own label to customize and place it that's it for today and thank you for being here and i look forward to sharing more video bye bye